iconic actors, who passed away today, April 12, 2024. Legends who somehow contributed to their respective works, and today unfortunately ended up passing away. Condolences to the family and fans, rest in peace. But first, we ask that you show your love and affection by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel to follow us. Unfortunately a sad death. It happens that the famous and very beloved stylist, Roberto Cavalli, died at the age of 83 in Milan. Fausto Puglisi, Roberto's creative director, regrets his death. Dear Roberto, you may no longer be physically here with us, but I know I will always feel your spirit with me. It is the greatest honor of my career to work under your legacy and create for the brand you founded with so much vision and style. Rest in peace, you will be missed and you are loved by so many that your name will live on, a beacon of inspiration to others, and especially to me. Sergio Azzolari, CEO of the brand, added that the Roberto Cavalli company expresses condolences for the loss of Mr. Cavalli's family. His legacy continues to be a constant source of inspiration, he lard. Born in Florence in 1940, Cavalli launched his eponymous brand in 1970 and became known for a bold, glamorous style that included bold snakeskin, tiger prints, and sandblasted jeans. Early in his career in the 1970s, Cavalli developed an innovative leather printing technique that gained notoriety on the Parisian fashion scene, later allowing him to open his first store in St. Tropez in 1972. The designer then remained at, at the helm of his brand until 2015, when Peter Dundas took over as creative director. The designer leaves six children, Tommaso and Christiana from his first marriage, and Robert, Sarah and Daniele from his second. Very sad. We send sincere condolences to the loved one's friends, fans, and family. May he rest in peace. Unfortunately, another confirmed death. This time, a death in the world of television. It turns out that the K-pop singer, Park Borum, died at her 30 years old, really very young. According to information, he was found at home by his family. Despite his death the cause of death was not revealed. Since the beginning of the year, the singer had been working on releasing new songs and was preparing a comeback to celebrate 10 years of her career in music. The tracks I Hope and I Miss You, two singles from the album that was in production, were released in the first months of 2024. Park Borum began his career at the age of 17 by participating in the music competition series Superstar K2 in 2010, reaching 8th place. The singer's first single, Beautiful, reached number two on the South Korean Singles Chart and earned her the Artist of the Year Award at the 2014 JN Chart Music Awards. The music video for the hit track showed the artist's efforts to maintain her beauty through exercise and extreme diets to lose almost 30 kilos reportedly before her singing debut. Borum released her first EP, Celebrity, in 2015. The artist had released the single I Miss You on the third. The K-pop singer also invested in her acting career, gaining prominence in the miniseries Children Palji, Guhira, the year she released her first album. Very sad. Actress was very loved and will be missed so much. Rest in peace. Unfortunately, very sad Sunday. It turns out that the 89-year-old veteran actor of Soviet and Russian cinema, Alexander Shervent, passed away this morning. Misha, son of Alexander Anatolievich, 
called me, he died in the hospital half an hour ago, satire theater artistic director Sergei Gazarov told TASS. According to Telegram channel MASH, the preliminary cause of Shervin's death is heart problems. For those who don't know, in 2019, he underwent surgery and had a pacemaker installed, where his health was already somewhat weakened. In 2020, he suffered from pneumonia due to COVID and, in the summer of 2022, Alexander Anatolievich was diagnosed with angina. Then emergency doctors found the people's artist suffocated at his country house near Istra before his birthday. For his activities in the creative field, Shervin was awarded the title of People's Artist of the RSFSR, awarded the Order of Friendship of Peoples and is a full holder of the Order of Merit for the Fatherland. During his long career, Shervin played more than a hundred roles in theater and cinema. Among Shervin's most famous works in cinema, Pavel in the film The Irony of Fate, or Enjoy Your Bath, Alfred Chateau Zebus in the musical Sky Swallows, Harrison III in a boat, not counting the dog, Myasodov in the drama Forgotten Melody for Flute. Very sad. Rest in peace warrior. Goodbye. The United States is in mourning. The musician and guitarist, Paul Nelson, passed away in the early hours of this Sunday. He became very famous for being the guitarist of the veteran American power slash speed metal band Leech Lord. According to information that was found, he passed away after suffering a heart attack while on the road and on tour. Paul Nelson was a respected musician, songwriter, manager, Grammy-winning producer and member of the Blues Hall of Fame. His work in collaboration included more than 20 years as Johnny Winter's manager, guitarist, producer and friend. Paul Nelson had an impressive career that spanned decades, but more importantly, he will be remembered as a good man and a good friend. Paul Nelson also recorded Leech Lord's third album, 1988's Master Control. With the band's dissolution in the mid-1990s, Paul Nelson worked with Johnny Winter and received a Grammy nomination for his work with the guitarist. The New York guitarist joined Liege Lord for their second album, 1987's Burn To My Touch. He was invited to audition for Liege Lord after the band learned he learned all of their previous album, debut Freedom's Rise In, 1985, in just a single day, and even taught it to another guitarist who also ended up auditioning for the group. Very sad. The guitarist was very beloved, and will always be remembered. Sincere condolences to the family at this regrettable time. Very sad Saturday. Unfortunately, the singer and songwriter Angela McCluskey passed away at the age of 64. According to initial information, the cause of death was an arterial rupture. In addition to McCluskey, the band featured Angela's husband, Paul Cantillon. The couple met in 1989 at an Indian restaurant in London, where he played the piano. Original members of Wild Colonials also include guitarist Shark and multi-instrumentalist Scott Rowie. Red Hot Chili Peppers drummer Chad Smith is considered one of the former members of the Wild Colonials. In addition to his formidable vocal and writing talents, McCluskey had a knack for extravagant interior designs. In May 2013, the one-bedroom Greenwich Village rental house she shared with Cantillon was the subject of a New York Magazine home decor style feature showcasing her penchant for quirky and colorful vintage furniture. Her regrettable passing. Condolences to the family at this sad time. Rest in peace. Goodbye.
the famous coach and player, UL Washington, 70 years old, ended up death in the dawn of this Tuesday, March 5th. According to information reported by his family, the veteran died after facing cancer. His friend, George Brett, mourned his death on social media. I'm sorry to hear that my friend, my UL Washington teammate, died of cancer. He was a great player. I will always be grateful for the time we spent together with royalty, he lailed. Washington spent eight seasons playing with the Royals, from 1977 to 1984. He helped them reach the World Series in 1980, which marked the franchise's first appearance in the series, although they fell to the Philadelphia Phillies 4-2. Although he was instrumental in the Royals' postseason run in the 1980 season, it was the stick he often played with in his mouth that caught nationwide attention. According to the Kansas City Star, there was even talk of banning the use of toothpicks during winter meetings following the 1980 season. Coach spent one season with the Montreal Expos and two with the Pittsburgh Pirates before retiring after the 1987 season. He finished with a career batting average of .251 in 907 games. I prefer to be remembered as a good player, but I know most people will remember me as the guy with the stick, Washington said in 1988, via the star. I feel like I had a really good career, especially looking back on how I got into professional baseball, he said at the time. Rest in peace warrior. We started this Tuesday, March 5th, with a sad death. It happens that veteran actor Mark Motsop has passed away at the age of 64. The information of his death was reported and confirmed by his agency, Stellar Appearances. Mark's career spanned more than four decades as a broadcaster, voice actor, producer and convention fan favorite around the world. Mark was best known for being the voice of some of the most iconic characters in some of Hollywood's most popular films, says the statement. His family elder issued a note where they regret his death. Mark truly loved his fans and enjoyed meeting them at conventions around the world. Mark was honored to be included in dozens of local chapters of the 501st Star Wars Legions over the past few decades. Mark leaves behind a wonderful family, friends close friends and passionate fans around the world. The family requests privacy at this difficult time, the note adds. For those who don't know, the actor gave the voice to Salacious Crumb in Star Wars, Episode 6 Return of the Jedi D. 1983. In addition, the veteran also participated in Gremlins EM, 1984, and Gremlins 2, The Next Generation D, 1990. His death is really sorry. The actor was very beautiful, and will be missed so much. Rest in peace warrior, goodbye.